Okay, with this exercise, I would like to show you the basic function of uh, tissue and tessellate. Well, um, okay, let's start for, with a cube and create also a new geometry like a torus. Okay, so now if I select my component object that in this case is the torus, and then holding shift key, I add to my selection also the cube. If I press tessellate, I'm able to create a basic tessellation of these two objects and the result is that one. Okay, now imagine that you want to change something in your component on, uh, or in your base mesh, like for example doing this. Selecting your tessellated object and pressing refresh, you are able to see the results automatically. The same thing, obviously, if you change something, for example, in, um, in that one. Okay, so sometimes it's useful to work with uh, modifiers for example especially for the base mesh so for example if we want to use a subdivision surface and make it smoother we are able to change the settings of our tessellated object because by default if we press refresh we are not able to see the tessellated faces of a base mesh but only the original one so if you press settings you are able to activate the modifier here you see some settings regarding the base mesh, while here you can see some settings regarding the component mesh. So for the base, we can use use modifier. It's not possible to use modifiers for the component because we don't have modifier in the component right now. And press OK. OK, and this is the result. One of the very basic settings for uh, tessellation is the component z you can set the scale by default it uses the same the same scale that you have in the z of the component and you can set the offset if you want it internal you can set to minus one and if you want to create only externally you can set it to one so if you set in the same position the two objects okay let's move away the torus okay you see that the component is created only outwards okay another settings that you can use is for example merge if you want to merge the the elements all together but in this case this is not the component that allows this kind of connection usually if you want to make connection between the different elements you need to provide some openings in the component on the sides in order to allow the connection between the elements for example if you want to achieve something like that we will probably have to do something a bit different and let's see, for example, let's create a plane and uh, I want to add some, oh, let me show you with the keys, okay. And let me add some subdivisions like, like this. And now I want to remove those faces and maybe scaling a bit up that one. And I want to make a hole inside, so I can create an inset of my face pressing I and just deleting that face here. Okay, where is? Okay. So I can, for example, move a bit outwards this face, this loop. Okay, now in this case, this is a geometry that it allows a correct tile tiling in each the direction involved so if i select this one and this one and use tessellate okay i want to use the modifier of my base mesh i want to merge them and 
and let's see the result and it's that now if I add maybe it's better to change a bit the scale so in the settings I can set the scale to 0 0.3 okay now I can use some modifier on that like subdivision surface or solidify in order to make it printable for example okay I want to add the second subdivision surface in order to learn smooth a little bit the border or maybe I can just change the order so I want to create before by solidify and then playing a bit with the with the creases parameter okay okay working with tessellation allows you to keep the modifier of the final object so if I for example change something here randomly okay and now I refresh this one it keeps the modifier so now it's possible to continue playing with the two geometries with the two objects like the component I don't know if I want to uh, extrude a little bit those edges in order to create a sort of uh, in this this part for example i want to create some a region a loop that goes inside while this one is going outside and if I extrude along the z okay let me refresh and this is the result so as you can see we have this membrane that is moving outwards here while it's moving inwards here okay 